Before we start, we'd like to give you a huge thanks for all of the love and support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that. Now, let's continue. Do you sometimes find it tough to identify people who might not be good for your peace of mind? Let's dive into understanding this better. Here are five signs of someone you might want to avoid. Negative. Have you ever been around someone who seems to always bring a cloud of negativity with them? You're ecstatic, having just landed that job you've been dreaming of for months. Excitedly, you share the news with someone you trust, looking forward to sharing your joy. But instead of celebrating with you, they focus on potential pitfalls, stress, turnover rates, you name it. Suddenly, your bubble of joy bursts, replaced with a cloud of uncertainty. That's what clinical psychologist Dr. Romani Dervisula calls chronic negativity. It's not just an energy drain. It could mean this person struggles to share your joy or offer support. Most importantly, their perspective may be stuck in their own viewpoint, showing little regard for your feelings or experiences. So it's essential to recognize and tackle these signs early on because protecting your peace and emotional well-being matters. Always right. Ever found yourself with someone who acts like they've cornered the market on being right? Ever been in a relationship where your partner insists they're always right, even in the most trivial matters, like the best way to fold laundry or the correct pronunciation of a word? A psychologist and researcher, Dr. Carol Dweck, identifies this behavior as a sign of a fixed mindset. Such a mindset can shut down growth and productive conversations, and it can feel like they're dismissing your point of view. But remember, your job isn't to change them, but to manage how you react. Dr. Dweck recommends embracing a growth mindset. This means believing that you can grow and that different opinions aren't threats, but opportunities. When you're caught in a one-sided conversation, try to steer it towards being constructive. If it's going nowhere, it's okay to step back and save your energy for more fruitful discussions. Remember, your peace of mind and intellectual growth is essential. Victim. Ever come across someone who always paints themselves as the victim? No matter the scenario, you're discussing a shared issue, but they always manage to shift the narrative to highlight only their struggles, seemingly oblivious to your experiences. Clinical psychologist, Dr. George K. Simon, points to this as a common manipulation tactic used by some to dodge accountability, gain sympathy, or gain control. So what do you do in the face of this? Recognize it for what it is, first and foremost. It's crucial to set boundaries, making it clear that while you understand their perspective, your feelings and experiences matter too. If their dismissive or manipulative behavior continues, remember it's perfectly okay to put some distance there to safeguard your emotional health. Hey there, if you're enjoying this video, we'd really appreciate it if you could show some support by hitting that subscribe button and also ringing the notification bell. By doing so, you'll ensure that you never miss out on any of our future videos. Unreliable. Ever been repeatedly disappointed by someone? Left waiting alone in a cafe? Stood up yet again? It's frustrating, isn't it? A psychologist, Dr. Guy Winch, points out that this habitual unreliability can indicate a lack of respect for your time and can erode trust in a relationship. How do you navigate this? Start by communicating how their actions affect you. If their flakiness persists, it might be time to reevaluate. Your time is precious and deserves respect. You may need to create some distance or set stricter boundaries to protect your emotional well-being. After all, all relationships should stand on a foundation of mutual respect and reliability. No feelings allowed. Ever tried opening up to someone only to have them dismiss your feelings as if they don't matter? You're sharing something deeply personal, but they quickly switch topics, brushing your emotions aside like they're nothing. A psychiatrist, Dr. Gail Saltz, states that this dismissive behavior can make you feel invalidated, pointing to a lack of empathy and emotional understanding, vital elements of any healthy relationship. So how should you respond? Start by expressing how you feel when your emotions are disregarded. If they continue to brush off your feelings, it's important to prioritize your emotional well-being, whether that means creating distance, seeking out more supportive confidants, or even getting professional help if it's affecting your mental health. Remember your feelings are valid and you have every right to be heard. Recognizing these signs isn't about pointing fingers or passing judgment. It's about safeguarding your peace of mind. Do any of these signs seem familiar? If so, you might also find our video, 10 Toxic People to Avoid, useful. 
But hey, don't hesitate to join the conversation below. We're all here to support each other. It's absolutely okay, even necessary to establish boundaries and prioritize your mental tranquility. And if you know someone who might benefit from this conversation, feel free to share this video with them. We're all navigating this journey together after all. Until we meet again, take good care of yourself, okay? You deserve it.